Dr. Shelley here, and this is setting the wedge on zone dive in three steps. This is the three step process to setting the wedge on zone dive. Number one is you set it in the A gap. If there's a one or a two technique, uh, you're going to set it in the A gap. So it always starts at a one technique. If you have a one technique, the center is going to make an ace, ace, ace call, and he and the guard are going to get their near knee in the crotch, near hand to the stomach, and take four inch northbound steps while the backside guard sprints his belly button through the hip of the center and the backside tackle sprints his belly button through the hip of the backside guard. But it always starts at a one technique. If there was no one but there's a two eye, the guard would make the ace, ace, ace call and they would do the same thing. So a gap wedge is number one. Number two is if there's no one or a two eye, but there's a two or a three technique, you're going to make a guard call. The guard makes a guard call because now you're going to set the wedge on the guard. Guard, guard, guard. So now the guard steps with his play side foot first. He takes a second step, gets his nose in the V of the neck of that player and slams his hands through him while the tackle <coughs> gets his inside knee through the crotch, inside hand to the stomach for his northbound steps. The center is going to snap the ball successfully. Then he's going to open flat. And then he's going to get his belly button to the hip of the guard. And then he's going to get his play side knee through the crotch of the player the guard just posted. Play side hand to the stomach for his northbound steps. So he's going to scoop to engage on that player. So what's going to end up happening is you're going to get a triple team on him while the A back steps with his left foot first. And he stays on the hip of the play side tackle and two hand slams whoever shows. And the backside guard sprints his belly button through the hip of the center. The backside tackle sprints his belly button through the hip of the backside guard. So that's a guard call. So if you get a one or a two eye, uh, it's an ace call. A one is an ace call by the center. A two eye is an ace call by the guard. If there's no one or two eye, but there's a two or a three, the guard makes a guard, guard, guard call because you set the wedge on him. So that's step number two. Number three is there's none of that. There's no one, two I, two or three technique. Also keep in mind, coaches, that if he's aligned in the B gap, that by definition is a three technique. So be mindful of that and with your players as well because it matters for them the most. But if there's none of that, then you'd have yourself a center, center, center call. So if there's no one, two I, two or three, it's a center, center, center call. So the wedge is now set on the center. This is step three. Center successfully snaps the ball, takes two steps up the field, gets his nose in the V of the neck of the zero technique, slams his hands through that player, tight hands, while the guard comes down with his inside knee through the crotch, inside hand to the stomach for his northbound steps. The backside guard, he sprints his belly bone through the hip of the center, and then he scoops to engage. So a scoop block is him spreading his belly button through the hip of the adjacent offensive lineman, then he engages his inside knee through the crotch, inside hand to the stomach, for his northbound steps. He got a triple team on the zero, while the backside tackle sprints his belly button through the hip of the backside guard. So how it works is setting the wedge on zone dive in three steps. Step one, it's a gap. If there's one or a two eye, if there's no one or a two eye, but there's a two or a three, step two is uh, the wedge is set on the guard. And if there's no one, two, I, two, three, the wedge is set on the center. So the three steps is it goes from the A gap to the guard to the center. And that's how you set the wedge on zone dive in three steps. Coaches, you want to win more games in 2022 and you want to do it the right way the first time. You want to run the Army, Navy, Air Force, modern day triple option offense. Give me a call. I hope people win every single year and win big and change their lives and help them get better jobs and help them live a better life at their current job and help them get out of a lot of holes. I do it every year. Last year I had four clients win four plus more games than they did the previous season. Two years ago I had a school in Oklahoma win, or win a state championship after going five and five the previous year. I can help you win now. If you want to win bad, Give me a call. My number's on the thumbnail of this video. So is my website, and I'll talk to you soon.